The overall goal of this procedure is to evaluate the reduction of common bacterial contaminants in platelet products using a riboflavin and UV-based pathogen reduction process. This is accomplished by first preparing a stock of high titer bacteria. The second step is to obtain a human platelet product and evaluate the unit cell quality. Next, the platelet unit is dosed with riboflavin and inoculated with a known concentration of bacteria. The final step is treating the unit with UV light. Ultimately, bacterial reduction is measured by comparing pretreatment and post-treatment samples for viable bacteria as measured by an endpoint dilution plating assay. The main advantage of this technique over existing methods like bacterial screening is that riboflavin and UV light can inactivate other pathogens like HIV, HCV, malaria, and babesia. The implications for this technology extend beyond blood-borne pathogens uh, because the technology is also capable of inactivating white blood cells in donated blood products. Uh, those have been associated with uh, adverse uh, transfusion events such as transfusion-associated graft-versus-host disease. I first uh, came up with the thought of using this method to inactivate pathogens in blood through studies I was doing with the interaction of uh, compounds, photochemical compounds, uh, with um, nucleic acids. The technique utilizes the fact that pathogens, unlike red blood cells, uh, platelets, and plasma proteins, contain genomic nucleic acids that are essential for their replication and for transmission of disease. So by targeting nucleic acid chemistry,